<laughs> I was looking to make sure my volume's down. Yeah, I was like checking all my volumes. Hey Let's guys. See. Oh, sorry. Oh no, no, you're fine. I'm going to say what I always say. We're just making sure we're alive. Because if we just like count down three seconds or five seconds, we get cut off and we can't figure it out. <laughs> Okay, we should be good. Okay, you just bumped the... Oops, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> hey, friends. Happy Wednesday, Friends Day. I'm so excited you're here with me today. We're going to be... Oh, I almost forgot. Hold, hold it. Slow down. Here with me today is Emily. Hello. We're going to be uh, hanging out while I paint Duck, Duck, Goose. That's my newest painting I'm working on. Uh, the reference photos, plural, is linked in this video's description. Um, they're each from separate photos, and then I put it together in Photoshop and drew some, is that a good? A little higher, but yeah. A little higher? Mm -hmm. um, I put it together in Photoshop, just kind of poke at the color a little bit, for my, or just kind of play with the color a little bit, and I drew some glasses on the goose. Hmm. So there isn't anything else, other than we're just going to get started and get right to it. And I'm going to move us. Yeah, we're going to go for a ride. It's a little bit different ride today. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn. Can you grab your cord? Sure. I'm, I'm about to step on it. There we go. The long uh, cords are both good and bad. I know. Okay, now we're going to lower. That's okay. I'm, I'm going to, I might actually scoot it. As long as you're scooting, I'm going to mess you up a little bit. Because my iPad looks like it wants to fall mm. off. And I don't have the chat tonight. I'm going to have oh. my reference photo up. Yeah. Oh, I meant to get in there. We were talking shop, and I meant to get in there to say hi to people before we started. <laughs> I should probably do that after the chat too. What? Say bye, or it probably ends. The chat probably ends. It I stays can. open for a little bit. I noticed the bigger people that I follow, um, it can stay open for like five minutes after a lot. Oh, so I could quit. But it just depends how many people. I assume once it gets to a low enough quantity, like it boots. Oh, so our, ours probably ends right now. <laughs> it ends shortly after I noticed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, Emily's adjusting. I just took. Monkeying, yeah. Um, so I keep my paint, not only all the time, but most of the time I keep my paints on styrofoam plates, paints. I use a styrofoam paint plate as a palette. It's going to be a tough night. <laughs> I just got paint all over my hand. So here's my palette and I'll go through the colors. It's pretty messy already. I might break out a fresh, <laughs> a fresh plate. I can't say it. To work on the the goose and the duck, or the, yeah, ducks. Goodness gracious, let's just do the colors. Okay, so titanium white at the top. Oh, yes, yeah, I, I can't even tell if I'm in, I'll just assume I'm in frame. Yes, yeah, maybe a little, I can't tell. Yeah, you were almost all the way in frame when you were holding the plate. Okay, so bright aqua green is this color. I assume that's in there, bright mm -hmm. aqua green. And then I added a little yellow to it to make this pretty uh, limey green. And then I added a little, oh, I added a little uh, thalo blue. I had to think about it for a second. And a little black to mute down my sky color. This is my sky color. So a little bright aqua green with a little, my favorite thalo blue green shade. Look, it's a new tube. Thank you guys who send support. I, I truly buy paint with the support you send. So thalo blue green shade, cad yellow medium hue. That's a big tube. Uh, quinacridone magenta. So really, I'm kind of I'm here. I'll show you in a second. Quinacridone magenta is right here, and then quinacridone magenta and some yellow makes a very pretty orange. You make some, pull some more orange over here. Add a little bit of black. Uh, and you get a brown. Now sometimes you have to add more quinacridone, sometimes you have to add more yellow to get a brown you like. Can take a little bit. Oh, and then Mars Black. So really what I'm doing here is I've got the primaries to help it make sense. I'm calling this red even though it's a quinacridone magenta, thalo blue green shade and cad yellow. And then I tossed in a fourth color, the bright aqua green, because it's just fun. White and black and white, if that makes it a little bit more simple. And I uh, used, where is it? There's a full video for this. I, I started it from the beginning. It'll probably post 
depends when I finish the painting, but it'll post end of September, middle of September. Um, I used a three quarter inch flat brush from Royal and Lang Nickel to do my sweepy sky. Oh, I think I linked that in the video description, but I don't remember M because I set it up a little while ago. I don't know if I linked that. The, and then, which, what? Um, it was a live where we did how to paint a simple sky. Oh, okay, I'll double check. Um, and then I put a little pink in my sky to pull in my ground color. The ground is pretty simple. Oh, I'm gonna interrupt you. Yep. Um, I'm gonna see how big I can make this because I can pop out the chat. Oh, the sticker doesn't get any bigger, dang it. Um, Joy Lynn sent $3, but it's a little pear, and he literally, his little fists say fist bump, and then he's <laughs> oh, doing a little thank fist you. <laughs> thank you so much. We really appreciate it. I think that sets the table. I was going for a little more color in my background because my goose and my two ducks are white with orange beak. So I put a little orange in my ground, in my dirt, to uh, help hopefully tie it in. And then I, I really like it because I'm going to play with a little aqua um, blue color in the orange too is going to be fun. Oh, and then when I painted the sky, you'll see this in the full video, I painted in the glasses and then painted in the sky and I went right over the glasses. Then I came back and put them in again. And I might go back, I'm going to go back again, and they're just solid black right now and make them a little more interesting. I just didn't want to lose the glasses. I think that sets the table, M. I'm going to mix. So one, one thing tricky about my reference photo I set up is this one, the light's kind of coming just from the top, whereas the two ducks, the light's coming from, from over here. I'm assuming Mr. Sun is is in frame. So I, I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do first is paint some of the highlight area so I don't forget. Because sometimes I'll be painting along and I'll forget. Like I'll paint, um, it wasn't too long ago I was painting trees in the background and I had a different light source, which maybe I could get away with because it's so far away. Um, but it was kind of funny because I forget where the light's coming from. Oh, and I, well I was going to move it closer. The eyes aren't done. I've just painted in some flat color and shapes. I don't know how well you can see that. Okay, I think I'm done chatting. Okay, then I'm gonna get you caught up with the chat because you can't see it today. I can't see the chat. So I, if you, actually, if you want to look back, do you think this is you're gonna stay just in the goose area? I'm gonna paint all the animals. So okay. yeah. Okay. So because I just cut off the top a little bit, but we get all the goose. Okay. Yeah, that works. Okay. Um. Let's see here. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna grab some white and. Oh. Um, so let's see, just who all we have in the chat so far is Cindy, Joy Lynn, Babs, um, Corvid, Bonita, Susie, um, Hema, <laughs> and, did I say Bonita? Yeah. <laughs> Suzanne, and Angela, I believe. I'm trying to skip around, like, double chats and other people chatting, so... <laughs> <laughs> but um, Cindy said um, that this looks like it will be a fun one to paint. And Joy Lynn says it, um, it's looking good and looking forward to this one. Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks yeah. for coming. It, tr it is fun that you come to work with me. I really love it. Yeah, I think that's... I, when did, you said that last time, and I thought that was so funny. That I've been thinking it. I, I, coming I, to work? Yeah, I thought I'd already said it. <laughs> I think I noticed it last time that you said it. Yeah, no, I think it probably was the first time. Sometimes I think things, but I don't know if I've just thought them and not said them, you know. So I just mixed some yellow into some white, and now I'm just going to put a little brown in it. I don't know why. Because I, I might, well, I suppose because I might come back and glaze some areas with yellow. I might not. I don't, I don't know. I kind of have to see how things are looking. I wonder if your mic is picking up all that squeaking. Oh, maybe because I'm leaning in and I'm holding up the people. They'll have to let us know if that's driving <laughs> them crazy. The squeak. squeak, 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 squeak. Um, let's see here. I'm going to use the same three quarter inch flat. Well, I'm going to go a little smaller. Go ahead. Oh, I was just, um, let's see. Um, Babs says, um, these are so cute. Let's Thanks. see. We got a lot, like, right off the bat. Like, everyone's welcome, like, hi, I'm here. And then it was like, this is so adorable. Oh, <laughs> they're so nice. 
I'm using a, um, I think it's a half inch flat brush from Michaels. It's a craft smart brush. Mm. Susie says it's fantastic already. Love the background. Yeah, I really like that background. I like the color that you put in the oh, ground. That's so funny. I don't like, I never like it. <laughs> and I'm never as too all encompassing, but rarely do I like my backgrounds. And I know it's a good idea to tie the some uh, a color from your dirt, grass, whatever, into the sky. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, I just don't. I like that one. Thank you. Well, good. Um, let's see. Let's try. And um, oh, oh. Hema said, super cool idea to make glasses. Can't wait to see the finished result. Um, it's similar to the um, alpaca. Oh, oh it is. Yeah, did you have a chance, Emily, to see if I linked to the sweeping oh. clouds? Mm -hmm or the sweeping sky. And then you might as well check to see if I can link the alpaca. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, I'm making her work hard tonight, you guys. Um, so mostly I'm concerned about the highlights on the goose because they're backwards in my reference photo. I don't think you did. Draw and paint a simple daisy. Is that what? Oh, no, that wouldn't be the alpaca. Well, yeah, but I didn't know if that would be the sweeping sky, maybe. No, no. I, it's simple sky, sweeping okay. sky. Okay, yeah, then I will, let's see, I'll add the... I don't know if we need it. I just wondered if I did. Oh, okay. I could find it. Alpaca and the um, simple sky. It, the simple sky is alive, isn't it? Or yeah. Or is that a... Okay. Yep, the simple sky is alive. Oh, Bab said um, that it sounds fine. Oh, good. Thank you. So I just went over my glasses, which isn't a big deal, really, even though I, it bugged me. Oh, and yeah. Joylyn asks, um, Annie, do you prime your canvases? If so, how many times? You know, I don't want... I mean, I, I, it's not that I don't want to. That's not accurate. I want to jump into painting. And the canvas is... Oh, I didn't say what it is. It's a 12 by 12 from Michaels. It's already gessoed. Um, it's an inch and a half thick. I don't, because a lot of times I'll just put paint on it. Um, I didn't because these geese are white, but quite often I'll just put like the whole sky and the whole background and then transfer my image on there. Um, so the short answer is no, I don't. I don't. Some artists like prime them, sand them, prime them, sand them. And I'm going, eh, I'm going to put enough paint on here. We're good. I would say you maybe... If they need it, you prep them because you spray, you tighten the canvas if it's too Yeah, tightening, wobbly. it's a little, I think, a little di different than what she was asking me. Well, yeah, but just, oh. you know, you don't just buy the canvas, rip the plastic off and slap the paint on. No, you know? um, almost. I almost do. Yeah, I tighten them with some water. Mm -hmm. I've got a video <laughs> that shows how I do that. Um, and that's one reason why I like the inch and a half thick canvases is because um, you can over tighten it and then it'll bend. The wood. Mm, mm -hmm. So, like on the uh, abstract I just did, what they they can't the, see. The it's, it's it's like a three quarter inch mm -hmm. uh, deep gallery wrap canvas. I can over tighten and stretch it, and then it'll bow. That's one of the reasons why I buy the thick ones too. Because I like to get them nice and. Now you can't really hear it. I like to mm. get them nice and tight. Hema says, "I see no difference whether um, whether um, she applies gesso or not." LOL. So she agrees. You can. Some people like it. Um, some people do it to help get rid of the linen-y look texture. I don't mind that texture. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, really, I think if I really didn't want the texture, I'd go to a wood, cradled wood, like I've done a couple times. You bought me some for Christmas or birthday, Em. Yes. But those I gesso. The wooden ones I gesso so that the paint doesn't just soak in a ton. I don't know why I'm being so, uh, probably because I'm thinking about something else, being a little, a little slow there. I don't know, I might change my mind down the road. Mm, Bab sent a $4.99 with a cute little. Oh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that I have to describe these to you. This might be the, the funnest part. Is it's like a cute little um, lemon guy, and he has a little trumpet, and he's tooting it, and then he has a little tiny lime friend that also has a really tiny trumpet. 
<laughs> Chase would approve of that because Chase played the trumpet and a mini trumpet, if it's literally called the mini trumpet. He played that in um, band when he was... Uh, I'm sure it's not a mini trumpet. I'm sure they'll let us it's know. Called like a, I think it's called a mini trumpet. Oh, really? Okay. Well, thank you. I'm getting... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, I need to buy canvases. I, I am grateful. I sold several 12 by 12s in the last, gosh, couple days down at the downtown gallery in Omaha. So I, I need to buy more canvases. So I really appreciate it. Emily could tell us like excited. I'm like, cash flow. We have a little bit of cash flow. <laughs> when we go into Michael's. <laughs> yeah. So I probably should have lightened up some of my, um, well, that's not going to work. My, uh, Chalk pastel lines. But I'll just paint over them. Um, Joylyn says, oh, okay, thanks. Yes, I learned to tighten them, lol. Yeah. And then, um, oh, Bab says, we appreciate you both. Oh, so thank sweet. you. Thank you. My life is so much better since Emily talked me into doing YouTube. And then the lives, too. I was, I was scared to do the lives. Would you say that's fair that I was scared, Emily? Mm-hmm. Nervous. Yeah, I would say more nervous. Oh, you'd come, you'd you'd show up at my house and you could just feel mm -hmm. it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to. I don't want to say anything dumb. It's my biggest thing. But um, it's just so nice. I've gotten to know other artists. I'm still. My eyes aren't seeing. Oh, there we go. The alpaca. My eyes weren't seeing him. Well, I mean, I could say it's Specs Appeal, but we don't label the videos by the titles. No, yeah. Yeah, I was just looking for his. I knew what his thumbnail looked like. I was just, I couldn't find it. A couple people told me they found me from searching bubble bead painting. <laughs> I, I, if someone said that, I would very much believe that with how many bubble bead paintings you have. Yeah. Or even if you do a flower painting and there's a bubble bee in it, I usually put, like, in the searchable tags, like, bumble bee. I just throw a flat bumble bee in there. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's definitely title-driven, search-driven on <clears throat> excuse me on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So I'm painting in shapes. Um, before I the video started, I mean the shape of the eye, just kind of the a line that I'll probably paint over that kind of stuff. Right now I'm hating how yellow this is, but I think it'll be all right. I'll add some white. I'm adding the. Um, Simple sky and the what you call it? Uh, the alpaca. The alpaca to the description. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I make it harder for you. I'm going to kind of shape his head a little bit. Shape his cheek. Hers. I always do that. Mm -hmm. I think everything's pretty much a boy for you, like your cars have been boys. <laughs> yeah, everything, I don't know when it made the switch. I think things are usually she's for me, except for when I paint. Everything was a girl when I was a kid. Like, I don't think I had a, I can't remember a boy stuffed animal until I had um, oh, yeah. Starbucks, the teddy bear. But... She's typing and talking, people, just so you know. <laughs> I'm impressed. But, um... Yeah, I don't know at what point everything became a, a boy. Like, all my two cars have been boys. Okay, now I want to say puberty. Probably. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I keep I saying I said I probably should erase. This is a kneaded eraser. Mm. Um, Suzanne earlier had said that they were in a tornado watch, and Ooh. so now she says... I'm so sorry, I have to leave, but the weather is getting very bad. I hope to see you next week. I'll watch the replay. Stay Take safe. care, stay safe, yes. I always made you kids go to the basement. Well, I guess not till the morning. Well, that's where I get my, well, it was the, I don't know if it, if it I don't know where my innate, terrified, like my terrified fear of um, I don't think I was tornadoes ever come from. I don't panicked. know if it's just. Well, I don't know if it was just the prep because you know you would 
make us put our shoes in the basement and you just bring down like your work essentials. Like you would unplug the computer so nothing fries if the house gets zapped. So I don't know if I, that I just, just that is like things are about to go down. Oh, you read too much into it or something. Yeah, maybe. but I just remember shoveling, you know, you took your most valuables. So I just remember taking laundry basket after laundry basket <laughs> of the stuffed animals to the basement as my valuables. Anytime we needed to go down there. It's it's a weird thing. It's kind of like I don't want to panic you, but... Yeah. I mean, if it's a warning, we're going down to the basement. Oh, Chase popped in with his 999, his little goat. Hey, Chase, man. I haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? Oh, I guess I saw you Sunday. <laughs> Bab said, way to go, Chase. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. People are watching. <laughs> yeah, people keep eyes out on Chase now. Yeah, make sure he behaves. Let's see here. Poor Jack, if he ever pops in. Yeah. Jack is my favorite son. Okay. Now I'm I'm catching up in the chat because I uh I'm done uh, with the Well I made her do so much stuff. Let's see. So I think this is in shadow, this is in shadow. Oh this I need to finish this. I kinda went on to the easier ones. I do that sometimes. I something catches my eye and I I do things. And I, I will probably blend those shapes in probably I will um let's see here it's okay I'm, I'm oh Bab said bumble butt artist lol that was a little bit ago oh yeah that <laughs> that was because of the the live chat or the group I think it was the group the Facebook group mm -hmm. and it took me a little bit but I found that crocus on my walk well but that maybe that's not your new title it's just the bumble butt artist Oh, I got gotcha. you. This is back when we were talking about you painting a bunch of bees. Because I was in, in the chat. I was in the yeah, yeah. description. Sorry. I, no. uh, I think I'm going to put a little here. I don't know if I want it there. We're live. <laughs> My husband just decided to come in. I think he wanted to say hi, and I was giving him eyeballs. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, Gravy asks, has anyone worked with metallic, in quotes, acrylic paint? So I don't know if that's in reference to, like, the golds that you've used. I have a little that bit. That would be considered. I was going to on the last abstract, and then it didn't need it. I'm grabbing. Gosh, I don't know how old this is. This is copper in basics. Here, let's see if it's still any good. Let's see. I, I don't want a different brush. <laughs> Oh yeah, that looks great. I mean, you guys, I don't know if you can see that, but it looks beautiful. Um, here's a gold and heavy, iridescent bright gold. I know this is good. I had just uh, was thinking about using it. And then I have uh, iridescent bright silver. Boy, that might be, oh, how many years ago was I in the gallery in Nebraska City? Oh, that looks good too. Acrylic paint can keep a long time. You can get lucky. So one thing I, and I used to paint um, the little four by four like bumblebees. I did a, a few where I painted gold size instead of carrying the image around the side. And one thing I discovered is paint a gold color underneath before you paint the gold metallic because it's so transparent that it took a zillion coats. Oh yeah, I remember that. For it to look gold. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it tells you. It says it's only semi-transparent. When I painted like a, um, here, listen. you can make a gold. You could paint yellow underneath it. That'll work. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think I painted like a yellow oxide underneath it, maybe with a little white, maybe don't worry about it. And then paint the gold on top of it. It's so much easier. And I'm betting the same is true for silver. I've done a silver, but I can't remember. But I, I bet I paint, painted like light gray, medium gray underneath it, and then painted the silver on top. If I was gonna use the gold, um, or I bet the same's with the copper. What does it say? I would check out the tube depending on the brand you buy. Gosh, this is so old. I don't even see where it has the, it's in white, so I can't read it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it has the transparency on it, but you could test it out on a piece of paper and see what it does and see, and it also will be less streaky. If you don't want it streaky, having that paint color underneath can really help. So I don't know that that was way too much information. Because <laughs> it just said, has anybody painted with? Yes. <laughs> and I just, I went down a path. 
So yes, I have. Um, mostly in abstracts or like on the edges of paintings. It could be fun. Mm hmm Yeah, I remember you put them on the that edge. I just that's well, that's what I remember oh. of you in the gold paint. Is that's what took a million. Floors. I might have a peppermint in my old office. Oh, I could look. And yeah. then I could show them the size, but I can't really show them how it was before. You know. Mm hmm So one thing I'm doing here is I'm thinking there's kind of a line. Um like a dent in this goose's neck that I think I might show. <laughs> she makes it look so easy just to hop up and run. <laughs> Nothing, her joints don't hurt. <laughs> yeah, I, my joints are greased. Thanks. You, hey, you can't see what I did. I Oh, I, I totally, I painted this gray underneath to help it be, I don't know if you can tell, but you can still see a little brush stroke and a little patchy. But yeah, painting a color, similar color underneath it really helps when you put the metallic on top. Now that might just be a Liquitex problem, I don't know. There's the peppermint I was talking about. I, I like I, that peppermint, he's cute. I do too. I sold, I don't know how many and then that one just didn't sell. <laughs> I probably should try it again, I also forget about it. Um, let's see here. A little bit ago, uh, Joy Lynn said, hey, that looks like he's wearing my glasses, lol. <laughs> I tried to have him kind of up here, and it wasn't working. I like them. They're, they look like he's got little readers on or something. Yeah, so I brought it down, brought the bridge down, brought the, the bow down. That probably took me the longest to figure out. It's like, I don't like it. Then I should be able to make this work. I need to start doing, I need to figure out Christmas ornaments. Mm. Angela said, um, my metallics mix well, but they are Liquitex and Golden. Used Artist Loft metallic once, and they were chunky, and I took them back. Oh, yeah, that could have just meant they got cold, like frozen uh -huh. or something in shipment. It could, I don't know. It could, I don't, I've used Artist Loft I had a tube of it. I don't. I just looked to see if I still have it. I don't see it. Um, oh, you might. I did, but I don't know. Oh no, no, no. That's just a. It looked funny in a plastic bag. Yeah. I thought it was a. Oh no, you do. Do I? Yeah. I haven't used it in so long. It's a. It's a green one. Let's see. An emerald green. Gosh, would that have been from a project? I'm just putting this brown here, so I remember it gets a little darker. Oh, sorry guys, it's a pre-mixed brown on my palette. It, honestly, I squeezed it a little bit. It looks kind of fine in there. <laughs> yeah, it and probably who knows got, how old that one is. It might have gotten cold. I've had chunky paint before. Mm -hmm. It does get chunky when it goes bad, but if you buy it and it's chunky, I totally would return it. <laughs> Bab says, oh, to be young, <laughs> the crying laughing mode. Yeah, I said how fast she just like <laughs> hopped up and helped me. I'm like, oh, I haven't started walking outside again, so my knees are, aren't used to it, and they're bugging me. Hashtag old people problems. <laughs> I haven't said that in a while. Uh, Susie says, Being dorky. love that peppermint. Oh, well, thanks. I think it's fun. I think Susie changed her profile photo. I'm going to notice that when people change their profile photos if they come enough. <laughs> I know. I'm going to notice when people swap them out. Like, I, th I think it's somebody new. Yeah. Like, um, Chase... Something kept happening with Chase's Google, like, Gmail account, and then, like, his, the color of his C kept changing. Like, he was orange for a while, That's and then he was funny. purple, and now he's blue. Google's just messing with him? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it, because he kept getting logged out of, so he has, like, our YouTube TV account for live TV, and something kept happening, and it kept booting him from the TV, and then, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, I don't like that. That scares me, but I'm just going to. Kind of put it in, and then it. <laughs> Joylin says, yes, readers. He's 64 years old. Yeah, he's just an old little goose. Yeah. I, went, I don't know if I, so far, the working title is Duck, Duck, Goose. I like that. But, I mean, I, I love the title ideas. Mm-hmm. 
With the crow and the moon, I, I went with Eat Crow. It's already at the gallery. Yeah, there were a lot of, I liked a lot of those. That was a hard oh, there's, one. I still have all the posts. I sent, I either write them down to where I have my, all of my title ideas or I just stick the post. Oh, it's right in here. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done anything with it yet. It's still just sitting mm -hmm. there. Because a lot of those could also be good for oh. just other fall paintings too. Yeah, it was great. Okay, I'm tempted. I don't know what to do here. I'm tempted to, um, did you have something you wanted to say? Oh, just Chase said, that's a cool chicken. But I don't, I don't know if he's just being funny or if he's referencing a vine where it's this little girl, like it was just a little like short video or whatever, and it's this little girl and she says, look at all those chickens. And then the video pans oh, over yeah. and it's a bunch of like ducks by a pond. And they're not chickens at all. He's probably being funny. I think I'm gonna put that in sort of shadow. We're gonna call this for now warm shadow. That's going to make it dent in right there, so I want that mm -hmm. lighter up here. I'm not, I'm not probably getting the values right just yet. And that's too dark for that value. Um, but I'm also just reminding myself of what I'm thinking or where I want to go. Get some paint on because I know the layers will help help me. Layers I put in this, you'll have to see it in the full video because I just didn't. Originally, I was going to try to put some more motion and direction, kind of like I did in the uh, chicken video with the daisies. Um, and then it just was too much, so I just straightened it out. But but all those layers help me, and colors add interest. But I wrestled with it for a little bit. There's a lot of wrestling, and it kind of comes together at the end. I like flat brushes. You can do it with a filbert, but I can kind of paint with the corner mm -hmm. and uh, not have to switch. A bigger brush would go quicker. I really don't need this little brush in this area. Oh, here, you know what we could do to help me? I don't know if it helps you guys, but it'll help me. It's a little black, little phthalo blue, a little white. I really should just have another palette for painting the geese. I've got so much going on from the from the grass. Let's just add like a little, get a little braver with the shadow. Then I can put layers over it to soften it. That'll work. So this goose has a little bit of yellow around the eye, and then it had a little shadow, but I put the shadow in brown. I wonder if I want a little, I'm gonna paint it this my creamy yellow and then see how much it bothers me. Maybe we'll darken it just a little. Eh, I'm already feeling it. I'm just gonna grab a little brown on the corner of my brush. I'll just mix right on the painting. Is that a 12 by 12 canvas? It's a 12 by 12, inch and a half okay. deep. Babs was just asking again. Yeah, that's okay. I don't know if I set the table that well this time. You, you said it was a 12 by 12, I think. Oh, yeah, after a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I interrupted your table set. Oh, I love <laughs> it when it's Emily's fault. Yay. Do you love it that I love it that it's when it's your fault? I bet you and Chase both love it when it's <laughs> my fault because I never let it be my fault. <laughs> oh, I wasn't thinking that, but yeah, we can go there. No, I just, I was, I don't know. I had trouble talking. I had, all of a sudden my brain, it must have been sort of like, you know, light, lights, camera, action, my brain shut off. Mm -hmm. I'm in a little trouble. I'm going to grab some white, even though it's pretty early in the game. I don't want to forget that I want to keep this shape. And I mean, I do some of these things and I don't need to do them. 
Um, I don't know until sometimes I'm further into the painting. It doesn't look like much yet. Today, Emily, I was thinking about what to do for G, because I just... Because uh, you're doing a goose right now? <laughs> yeah. I just put up F for frog. Well, actually, I was um, wondering if people would be interested in... Um, now, ghost sounds kind of maybe too simple. Mm -hmm. But maybe we could do ghosts and dark trees, you know, dark... Sort of dark, mm -hmm. like start with a black and then have trees and moonlight and some ghosts peeking around trees or in a cauldron or I don't know. We don't want to make it too complicated because it's going to be small enough for a small canvas. Or if somebody, if they have like... A G. A gorilla I've thought about, but I didn't know if that would be doable. Mm -hmm. I have to look. I have to look for um, reference photos. That also matters. Just because it's a good idea doesn't mean I can find a photo. With a ghost, I can just draw it and we can yeah. paint it. Well, and Halloween's coming up. By the time... We do it. It's going to be middle of September? Probably. I'm Googling things that start with G. Probably. Oh, Lisa says fantastic, Annie. A oh. giraffe. We've already done one. Oh, we could maybe do a simple giraffe. That would sell. I always think about what will sell. Goat. Oh, we yeah. Goat. Someone, we already did, didn't we, maybe we already had G's. I'm, uh, goat. I think we kind of did like a down the, like a, just a spitball down the aisle oh, kind of thing. Oh, is that what it was? But. I'm glad I asked, because I, I get like stuck, one thing gets stuck in my head. Mm-hmm, and then that's all you can think about. Yeah, I kind of like, I'm putzing with this, but I kind of like that he's got a cheek. Although I, now I want to call this Gertrude because that's one of my favorite G names. I think we talked about that last time. Mm, mm-hmm. That's kind of fun. Okay. Do I have all my highlights pretty much as far as feathers are concerned? Okay, so we could do blue shadows, which I've kind of done a little bit of here. I might stick with that. I was going to say you could do purple, but I think blue would tie the painting in more. Um, yeah, per there would be nothing wrong with purple. Um, Bonita says, a ghostly haunted scene would be a, would be ghastly great. <laughs> Thanks for all the G's. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Gas um, ghastly. Ghastly. Yeah, I, I pre-read, I reread that in my brain at least five times before I said it aloud so I could get that out. <laughs> Um, Bab said she at one ups the just a straight goat and says goat with glasses. Oh, well, that could be cute. If we're into the glasses. I was thinking that, you know, middle of September, Halloween, mm -hmm. give people time to paint. But we already have a jack-o'-lantern. Jack if you don't want to do G, Lisa, um, Lisa said a spooky house would be fabulous. Oh, yeah. That'd be kind of cute if you did... Um, I was thinking about doing that on my chalk wall, too. Oh, that'd be cute. Yeah. On the chalk wall. I keep thinking about changing it, and then I'm like, oh, but I got to do this. Mm-hmm. That'd be really cute. I love the ideas. Thank you so much. Cindy says a guinea pig. Oh, <laughs> I've never <laughs> painted one, but now I'm picturing one. Of course, that's playing to my I like animals, you know. Mm-hmm. Although, I don't know, um, I've poked around a little bit on YouTube. I don't know. There's got to be other acrylic painters that paint animals. I feel like I paint a lot of animals, which is good, I think. Emily keeps kind of snark, or not snarking, but laughing. Um, well, I'm, so I was reading something that um, Grady said, and then I just below it pops in Chase saying, Great goofy ghosts greet guests gallantly. <laughs> He will not be outdone. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies, challenge is on. Yeah. <laughs> Alliteration Wednesday. Um, but Gravy says, would you ever do a fan art review of art that has been posted on your Facebook page? Um, like, uh, be creative and reimagine the piece or try them in different colors? I don't know. Just curious. Okay. I think that was multiple. So we'll break it down. Would you ever do a fan art review okay, stop. of art? 
Okay. I don't even know what that means. I so, think like, like somebody else's art? Yes, of the art that has been posted to the Facebook page that we have. Like, you know, people post their stuff. Oh, in the group? Yes, I think. That's what I take it as. Maybe. I don't really, um, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm hesitating because I'm like, well, to me, fan art, I picture like manga. And I mean, fan art could be absolutely anything, couldn't well, it? Well, not, you're putting that together as like fan art, like fan art done by people in the group. Oh. Not like fan art of like oh, somebody not somebody drawing. else's. <laughs> oh, so would I review somebody's art? Yes, an art review. Of like people if they part wanted to participate. So I a critique. Guess. Yes. Huh, I'm catching up. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I'll make suggestions once in a while, Emily. I. I don't know. What do you? I'm, what do you think I should? So I don't know. I why I'm hesitating is I would really. It's really brave of anyone to put any piece of art out on the internet even in a closed group mm -hmm. um, and I think art is amazing because you made it I mean it, you know it's, you put all the time and effort yeah. and love into it mm -hmm. and I don't want to say something like wow I personally would like more color but they don't and then I've hurt their feelings mm -hmm. you know so maybe I don't understand review and critique quite yet but um I'm mixing, I'm trying to make a gray blue as I try to answer this question. I, at, at the moment, no, but I might. Because mm -hmm. I'm just not sure exactly. Yeah. Um, I also don't offer personal art coaching or art critiques. True. Um, I'm also worried a little bit about the time or, you know, I did somebody's, I did, you know, three people and then I have to stop. So then that stinks for everybody else. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking it through, really. We can talk about it all you want. Yeah, I don't know. I see your point of, like... I'm a little worried about hurting feelings. Um, yeah, well, yeah. Would... And then it's so... I mean, art is just straight-up opinion. Straight-up opinion. That's the hard part, is that art is... Because, like... Um, I've had instructors saying, like, you're not going to make it, or, you know, and I'm like... Yeah. You know, and then I'm the one in high, from high school that's, you know, has an art career. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, I would never say you're not going to make it if that's... You totally can do it. Mm -hmm. You had thoughts, I mean, did I cut you off? No, just that art is super... Super subjective. Subjective. So, like, I mean, just because, like, somebody likes a piece done at, Sorry. like, two layers in doesn't mean that it's... It's done for somebody else, or oh, I know. That that that's my only hard part is I think we think the bolt we think the same on that, so it's like hard to critique. I don't know. Well, I could say, hey, you might like your light source coming from one place. Yeah, but true. really, you can always find somebody who did something different than that and made it work. Mm -hmm. and you're like, wow, that's cool. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I don't know. Or I could say, hey, your perspective's a little off. Or, mm -hmm. But, I mean, then you, you know, have a Van Gogh painting where the eyes, nose, ears, is that Van Gogh, are completely off. I mean, you know. True, yeah. It's just so hard to know because it, it's, it's hard to know. Yeah, I'm not saying no. I'm just like, I'm not sure how to do it. Mm -hmm. I know how to do it. I'm not sure. And then keep it fair. Yeah. Because that was always my one annoyance with all of, I agree with all my, like, art professors in college, because I... Oh, I can think of one right now. <laughs> was because uh, was I never quite bought into the, like, everything um, has to... Like, you go into something already having an intent to it. Like, you go into this piece knowing you're putting this deep five-paragraph five meaning behind it, and then... It always comes out that way. I think some people probably do that, but oh, I also too, yeah. don't think that it's any less of a piece if you just paint two ducks and a goose and call it duck, duck, goose. <laughs> I just had that conversation with a, a University of Nebraska from an, an Omaha student because the gallery's having a college mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. and, and then she, I think, I mean, she stayed for an hour, but I'm like, okay, these are just my opinions, but she was so relieved that 
I loved her hummingbird and it didn't have to have a deeper meaning, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, I mean, you don't, your meaning is that both you and hopefully the person who wants that piece of art gets some sort of, mm -hmm. you know, happiness, joy, rest, you know. Yeah. Brightens their room, whatever. Yeah. Matches their couch. <laughs> Sorry, being a little sarcastic there. So that, whoever said that really started quite Yeah, we did. Yeah, he started. They, opened gravy, a can of worms. Gra gravy started a whole can of worms, yeah. I think if, like, if there was enough people that, like, asked for it or wanted it, I don't know. Well, like, I we could do it. find the time. Yeah. Well, I bet we could just do, like, a video out of it, too. I don't know. Well, they might not. Know. They don't want, necessarily want their video. True. Because then it's all over YouTube. Yeah. The, yeah. And then the group is private, but how private is it? Yeah. I don't know. You know... I wouldn't... I'll have to add that to the list of things. I, I wouldn't assume it's private, private, and just us friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've thought about it off and on. I just don't know. I don't know. Um, Chase, I think a while ago, Chase said, any fan fiction fan art, more of the alliteration. <laughs> Any fan, any, any. You gotta fan say any fiction, fanny. Any fan fiction, fan art. Any um, fan. And then Bab says in quotes, art is in the eye of the beholder. Totally. And then Chase, Chase says, the principle of true art is not to portray but to evoke. I have a feeling he Googled that. He I have did not <laughs> think of that on his own. That's actually true. It is true, but that is, Chase 1000% Googled that. <laughs> How do you, he's very deep. How do you know? Um, but in that same comment, um, we can also stop talking about it if you guys want us to. Oh, yeah, I can. I can drop it. No, too. go ahead. Um, but Wait till uh, you get yelled at in the chat. Yeah. Uh, Gravy made a comment about like reimagining the piece, the pieces or trying them in a different color. I don't know if that's in reference to like the piece that they post or like a piece you've done and then just reimagine it I think eventually um I think we need to get a little further down the line because we did it with that pig you know but once a couple once you we have more of a backlog of like older videos I think it'd be so fun to do like a series of like going back and painting oh yeah like all the, these paintings that I painted my first year on YouTube or something like that the, yeah because we talked about it with the two sheep how different they are yeah I how think, similar they are but how different they are I mean you can totally yeah. tell I painted them um, I think we'll need to, I think that'll be like a, I don't know, year five thing. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I guess it just depends on, I, I think when you feel far enough away from year one, where they may come out quite different. I don't know. The two sheep are about, the both sheep, the sheep paintings. Yes. Two of them mm -hmm. are about two years apart. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to know you've changed until you go back and look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I'm not against it. I'm, and I, I've done it a couple times. You know, I'm like, well, I might do this, but you might not like that, or I might do that. Because um, critiques can really help. Yes. They can. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it is um, if you're a new painter, practice, 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 which is no fun to hear. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you... Practice drawing. Like, I, I was going to sketch every day, and I started a little sketchbook series, video series, and I'm not doing it. <laughs> so, you know, I can tell you stuff, but I don't always do it myself. Um, Babs said, wow, Chase. And then Chase says, Thank ba thanks, Babs. Some call me a wordsmith. And she <laughs> says, thank God for Google. <laughs> I don't, uh, yeah, I think the Google is the wordsmith, not so much Chase. I like it that the... The chat's a little, I don't know what adjective to use. They're being fun. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of painting shapes and shadows at the same time. There's a, what I might do is shift to green, which would be kind of weird maybe, but throw a little green in here. And then it kind of looks green in my photo. I feel like we gave such a non. I, no, now I, I think the answer is no for now. 
Yeah, that was such a long conversation. A gnome. I just thought of that. Oh, we could do a gnome. A gnome. I've got a fall gnome, but we could just do a gnome. Or I could do another fall one. I just spelled it G-M-O-N-E. Mm -hmm. I'll know. A gnome. I'm gonna, it's, I might have to paint that out, but I'm getting putsy because I'm thinking about art critiques. I'm impressed with what I see in the Facebook group. It amazes me. I know. It amazes me. It took me a lot longer to get as good as they are. Of course, I had a 20 year, at least over 20 year stretch of kids in graphic design business. The pandemic really helped me get better quicker. Didn't have the graphic design business anymore. And I was already transitioning into full-time art and I was already licensing my art and having the extra time to paint and really help. I'm literally painting by numbers, so to speak, and painting shapes. Sometimes they're a little complicated, but. I think sometimes it's good to see that I go slow and there's not a lot of magic to it. It doesn't look that great. Sometimes I'll go with the, um, that's too watery. Can you, can you guys see that? Um, sometimes I go around the animal and I don't know if it's gonna matter either way because it's sort of the underpainting. I think it is an underpainting. I say sort of because I just feel my way through a painting. Mm -hmm. I find shapes. A lot of times I'll get the eyes just so, or like the glasses, I make sure I have the glass shape. Um, and then kind of play with it. Kind of like I, I don't know how many layers I have on the ground. And then I'm like, just stop because I never like it. I'm like, just get some more of the painting done and see what you think. Bab says a Halloween gnome. Oh, like holding a pumpkin or something? Yeah, or orange. He's just an orangey gnome. Oh, I've got, we've got a fall gnome um, with Which a traceable. Do? You do have a fall gnome. So I have several gnomes on my um, pixels. A ghost and a gnome. <laughs> <laughs> Those are good ideas. A Halloween gnome dressed up as a ghost? <laughs> I think you could do it. Would you like make? Like, you'd little, have to have the beard on the outside. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Would you make like a little ghost hole cut out? Like, hey, you're that eyes cut out. You like would make it for the beard. Don't too. think about that. <laughs> when I love, like, some of them I have mustaches on, which I love. I'm gonna take my finger and just there. It's kind of a hot mess, but I don't think I mind mind that too much. Sometimes it can help you just to change the color a little bit, make it a little more interesting. You know, I've got green, which I probably, I don't know if I'll tone down here, I'll show you. It wasn't like I was like, wow, that's an interesting move. There's green in that throat, in that shadow. So I'm gonna use that good idea Because it's a good reminder that a change in color can really help. So I'm just kind of using dirty brush painting green up here. Oops, does everyone want that lighter? It's got like a light spot here. Just grabbed a little white, which is gonna be too light, I think. Oh, he's got a little highlight that kind of comes around his cheek. Oh, and really I need a smaller brush. I'm going to grab a number one Simply Simmons. I don't know if I'm going to get enough paint. Oh, I think I did. I wonder if my nose is in the live now. Um, you would have seen it by now, I think. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's not in. That's nose all right. Free. 
Oh, that might be a little, like, it might be a little weird to say it that close. Oh, you know what? We've got a long time and oh. I want to, I want to <gasps> thank people. Yeah. You gave me too many responsibilities tonight. <sighs> yeah, we are 30 minutes past when we usually. It's okay. I just want to make sure I thank people. Mm-hmm. So thank you, Betty R. and Tina B. for sending money through PayPal. Super appreciate it. And thank you, Angela I. for the super thanks. She, she left one under one of the videos. Mm -hmm. I can't thank you guys enough. It really helps to buy paint and supplies and, and keep, this, keep it going. And then I was just going to say, this coming Friday, um, there's a jack-o'-lantern video going up, and it has a traceable. So this Friday, September 2nd, 2022. And then the Sunday is a little 4x4 four four daisy painting that I turned into an ornament. It has warmer fall colors. So that posts Sunday, September 4th, 2022. And thanks, Bonita. <laughs> Bonita gave me the notepad. And Freckles is, oh, that's Freckles, my, the, 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 that's the backside of Freckles, my cat, who's <laughs> sleeping. She sleeps more through the evening lives. This almost looks like mind. a watercolor a little bit, the way I'm just kind of blobbing some paint on. Mm -hmm. It does, it does. Yeah. I don't have anything to show you because I took a bunch of stuff to the gallery. Is it supposed to rain tonight? I don't tonight? know. It's getting like awful cloudy. No. Oh, some people have had so much rain. Oh, I've been seeing that, yes. And some people have no rain. <laughs> That's a little dark, maybe. It's hard to know. It's hard to get your values right when you're just starting. It's hard for me, I should say. Um, but it, I, uh, then I tell myself, literally, what I, I tell you guys, just get some paint in there. You can adjust your values next round or later, or you know. For me, it helps just to get some paint down. And I'm painting a little bit underneath so I remember kind of what color. And then that, I'm going to pull it, make sure I pull it up here so it doesn't look too disjointed. I think that works. And then this is going to have some ref reflective light on here. <laughs> like, what do I point with? This side. Don't have to. But a lot of times you'll make it look rounder if you make it lighter on the edge and it's in the darkest area. Here, I can just show you in the photo. So it's light here. The, on the goose, the light's coming from the top, so that's a little frustrating. Um, but it's also light on this edge and then light on that edge. And actually the darkest is kind of middle left. Hopefully that's not too glary. This one even has a little bit of reflective light, you can kind of see. You don't have to put it in everywhere. This one, the back of the, the duck on the right doesn't really, but if you get technical, you can kind of see just a smidge. I don't know how bad that is on the, on the video. Hopefully not too bad. Ref reflective light can really help sell your shape. And then I'm going to lose an edge right there pretty much, which is okay. I've been um, meaning to focus more on soft edges, or it's about the same value as your background, and then hard edges where there's a lot more contrast. That can make your paint. There's so many things you can do to make your paintings interesting. It can get overwhelming. We'll talk about a couple when I think of them. I'm just grabbing some white. I've been forgetting to lift my palette. I'm out of practice. We've done so many tabletop ones. I've been forgetting to mm -hmm. show my palette. To me, this is fun. There's not a lot of pressure. I'm just kind of going, okay, value here, value there. And then color decisions, you know, warm. Don't have to, you can get away with other doing other things, but 
um, a rule of thumb to help guide you is warm in the sun, cool in the shade. And greens can be warm or cool. They can kind of go either way. What do you think, Em? Or is, of course, it depends. Like a blue green is clearly cool. Yeah, I agree. Green, I think green's the... Can go either way. The flip-flop color, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there's... I'm still learning. I'm still watching videos. I'm sure there's somebody who disagree with me. I think technically anything with blue in it is considered a cool color, though. Like, no matter the Probably. amount. I vaguely remember that in some color theory class. Well, you get a warm enough blue and you have a purple. You think? Yes. Anything with blue, I believe. I'm going to Google. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we ever stop learning with... I feel like painting is a sport. You know? You can keep getting better. When I get shaky, I'll just add that element to my designs. If I, not when, if. I'm already kind of shaky. Oh, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this. If I'm painting this close in the smaller brush, I'll anchor my finger to steady it. Um, some people will use their other hand, depending, or they'll have a mall stick, M-A-U-L, to rest on. Like with the oil painting, you need something because it stays wet, but the, the acrylic, it dries so fast. I have never used a mall stick. Let's see, I've got, I'm anch I, you can't see it probably very well, but I anchor, I tuck it in too. I anchor with my pinky. But a lot of times I try to, um, if I'm not doing such detail, I try to paint more from my shoulder and not my wrist. Of course, right now I'm painting from my wrist. You guys probably already know all that, too. And pulling is usually easier than pushing paint. I'm going to lose that right there. I don't know if I want to lose it. I might darken that up for now. I'm just going to grab a little darker color. Yeah, basically anything with blue is considered a cool color. Yeah. Even though I don't disagree that it's definitely, like, if you get to a really yellowy green, it's so you, it can be pretty warm, you know? Yeah. I was going to look for a good color theory video and put it in the Facebook group, and then I, I watched three of them, and I'm like, nope, nope. <laughs> you know, just kind of keep it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Keep it easy. I think it's, that might be a hard video to do. I could do one myself, or color mixing, figure out what people... I don't know. It's also boring. It's more fun to paint. Yeah, that, that is a boring... Um... Which is why I was just going to post somebody else's. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it can be hard to find a good one, hard to make fun. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to run across one. I'll post it in there. Something. I would assume I, like, if you're a straight up color theory video, do most of them, do any of them talk about quinacridone or no? It's not like quinacridone's in the color wheel, but it's, I think, a better. Yeah. I was watching a watercolor gal. I don't know who it was. Um, and she was like, Get yourself a quinacridone, just like me, get yourself a quinacridone. Mm -hmm. You'll get juicier oranges and, you know. Yeah. Um, some of them don't. Some of them, the one I watched today had a red ball and a yellow ball and a green ball, and I only watched like ten, 10 minutes of it. I'm like, okay. I don't know where what people need either, you know. Yeah. They can always go find them themselves. I just thought it might be helpful. Find something that interests them. I don't know. I don't know if that was a good idea either. It's just something I was thinking about. Whoops, I went too light. I grabbed some white. I might not like all the blue. Um, if I can come back with some browns. Browns are nice and transparent. So I'm thinking 
changing my shadow shape a little bit and sort of following my reference photo for what to do, inspiration. So I don't make it one solid, make the shape kind of interesting. Sometimes it can be helpful to connect, although I'll probably disconnect it, connect your shadow shapes. It can help your painting feel a little more unified. I think that's more for landscapes, but it looks like a hot mess. I just leaned back. <laughs> it, he's just a little patchy. I kind of like this. I will find out what people like as we keep progressing with you two. But I mean, you know, I ha we have the ones where I pop in and then do time lapse and pop in. Mm -hmm. We have lies where I paint the whole, most of the whole thing, usually not the background. Um, and then we have this where you see me piece it out, work on a section. I try to work on bigger sections so it's a little more interesting. Instead of like working on the eyes at this, those little teeny eyes that don't have a whole lot of. Sorry, I just got nervous there about the shape. Um, these eyes aren't the greatest for demo. They're too little. Okay, so we're, this might not be dark enough. I'll, I'll probably come back with some darker. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to put in, it's got like a little shelf. I'm going to kind of mimic that a little bit. Put in where the darkest is. They look naked. They are kind of naked. They're kind of just really exposed right now. Yeah, they. <laughs> kind of in their teenager phase, like maybe. Like hairless. Kind of face. that awkward turning into a teen, tween stage. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I haven't figured this out. Um, but I'm wondering if sometimes beginner painters stop too soon. You know, they might kind of do what I'm doing here and then maybe a little more and then stop when... So like I'll kind of try to guess at the values and then I'll come maybe like get the beaks done because they'll make me happy, maybe get the eyes done. And then I'll come back and adjust the values and I might go, oh, I need the sky lighter. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I keep kind of playing with it. Of course, you, as we said, you can be done when you want to be done. If you want realism, am I talking too much, Em? I don't think so. If you want realism, then you just keep refining. You paint like this, and you keep refining it and refining it. Matching the photo. If you're painting outdoors, chasing the light. If you're painting outdoors, I would do this even much quicker. Try to catch the light you like. Take notes or make, you know, color notes on your painting and then go from there. That's going to be too light, but that's okay. So it's kind of nice about doing this. I don't have to worry so much about feather direction right now. Mm -hmm. Just paint. You're underpainting. Just paint. So I have the shadow going out to here. That's still, I did it again. Well, maybe it's not too dark. Eh, maybe it's a little too dark. I just don't want to lose my, I want my value, I'd rather have my value changes be garish right now. Because then it'll remind me, oh yeah, it's darker here. Oh, I kind of quit over there, didn't I? I'll go back to that one. We went from talking a ton to... We did. This caught my cord in my bracelet, my microphone cord. What is everybody working on? Are you painting? Are you, Emily is, are you crocheting, Em? Nope. Oh, you were Sunday, weren't you? Oh, I thought you meant like right, literally this second. 
No. I mean, I guess what yes. projects do, are, do you have going? Yeah, I started up that. Now that it's fall again, I'm like, oh, that blanket's still not done. So I started up my a big, big crochet blanket that I was working on. I got like, I have two finished, two and a half squares, and so I have two to attach, and then... And then you're done? No. Oh. <laughs> That's just what I got, but... I don't know. I think I still have quite a few rows. I probably need more yarn is what I need. Oh, I think that's... I only have one more ball or two more balls of the white that I need. Would Michaels have it? I had been seeing 40% off coupons. Mm, I think I got the white at Hobby Lobby. So I could bring the white and we could color match to see if they're the same. But I think it's the that... Uh, I think the white I got is from Hobby. There, and there are three colors in that blanket that I think are from Michaels. Okay, it bugs me to take my own advice. I'm just wondering, I know we have people who bake. Chase has been smoking. <laughs> yeah. That sounds funny if you don't know. He's been like smoking meats. I, um, Chase is smoking. <laughs> yeah, I met up with some friends, and I was, and they were just like, what's new? And I was like, ah, Chase picked up smoking. And they literally thought I meant, like, literally, like, oh, smoking like cigarettes. Oh, like smoking cigarettes. Mm -hmm. And they were like, um, what? <laughs> just out of the blue. And I was like, oh, no, meats. meats. Smoking meats. Okay, I don't know if I want to lose the chin there. I don't think I do for the moment, so I'm just going to put some white. That might. So, okay, um, if we still have people in the chat, do you like seeing real time not, because like the other lives when I do the little paintings, they're still not totally how I normally, I do things, you know? I, I set them up for hopefully an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. You know, and I will, I don't want to rush and slop. Oh, I did kind of slop it on a little bit with a duck, but then I knew I could because it was just whites and, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I guess what I'm trying to say is do you like this when we do this during the live? Oh, like the slower pieces? Yeah. Or you just kind of see how I piece it out. And yeah. I would, I mean, I don't, technically I don't have a leg to stand on because I don't watch your videos and then like to paint from them or like to learn how to paint. You know, I watch your videos to post them. <laughs> well, most people don't either. They watch six, the average is six minutes. True. But um, I would like to see the real time since we do, since we do a lot of time, time lapse videos, you know? Oh, yeah. I would like, even though the real time, like, not a lot moves in this hour and a half. I like it. Oh, Gravy says, I like this kind of video. Okay. Well, I like chatting with you guys. For me, personally. That too. It's just like you can I come like and ask questions out. and chat or whatever. Or... We can talk about metallic paint. Mm-hmm. Peppermints. Weather. Movies. We still haven't seen where the crawdad sings. I know. It's probably, is it still in theaters? Probably not. Um, I can't remember who asked in the beginning. Lori, I think. Lori's going to be upset with us. <laughs> I like all of it. I get... I'm so, like spoiled about like Chase loves Chase loves going to like if there's a movie he really wants to see he loves going to the theater he makes a point to go to the theater he will see it in like in person sometimes like multiple times in a theater if he really likes it like there's been times where like he literally sees a movie with me and then we'll go see it the following weekend with his parents yeah he but does I have such a hard time like thinking about like Okay, so we're going to buy tickets to go to the... Unless it's like a date night, Friday night thing, like, or something. Like, we're going to buy tickets, go to this movie, like, in the middle of a day on Saturday, and I can't do anything else while I'm watching this movie. You're like me. I'm like, but I've got to do A, yeah. B, and C. Which is, Chase is like, that's the point, is that you're not doing anything while watching the movie because, Just you know... Just chilling. Well, we have shows, like, that we watch together, and I'm watching it, and then, like drawing or something or I'm watching and working or when I go over to her house to watch our, sh our show she's always doing something yeah I'm not you're the worst <laughs> yes I am the worst yeah I mean or for lack of a better adjective I mean I do that but I don't do I am I can only do one thing at a time mm -hmm. although I'm way better at painting and talking 
Mm -hmm. Cindy says, I like when you piece it out. Yeah. Just kind of see that it... See how you do it. It takes time. Yeah, it's slow, but it shows how you do it. I would, be a, do it. I would be a little faster if I weren't talking, if I was just listening to music. Because like, I think I had a whole brain fart with the critiques. Mm. Glenda says, hi, I'm late. So glad I didn't miss the whole live. Will there be a traceable for this one? Not planning on it. I don't do traceables for every video. Um, the next traceable that's coming up is the jack-o'-lantern and then the frog. We're doing a frog live. Those are the next ones that I know of. Mm -hmm. um, There's no traceable, but there are the, the reference, photos. reference photos in the description. Thanks, I forgot about that. Yeah. And I didn't flop the reference photos. I did draw the glasses on. No, I'm kind of smoothing it out. I'm not sure why. Sometimes you just do things because it feels good or you feel like it. You know, I'm not sure why because I really don't need to keep playing with that. I need to lean back. Mm. Bonita says, um, I watch your videos. I like it in the real time, not the hyperspeed time lapse. Okay. So, yeah, the good, the, it's, we do, uh, it's good if we do a mix. We do a mix and we've got basically three different ways, three different things. Mm -hmm. So a live what's on my easel, a live I paint it, paint something smaller in real time and then the time lapse, where I, or the, yeah, the time lapse where I pop in and talk about mm -hmm. things. I don't know if a lot, of, I need to look, I need to find time and research YouTube. I don't know if a lot of artists do the, here's what we're going to do and I do a little bit, here's why I did that, I'll do a little, I'll be back, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I think sometimes I just time lapse the whole thing. Or maybe they do a voiceover. I don't know, yeah. I don't know. Uh, Gravy asks, do you use synthetic bristles or yeah. brushes? Yeah. Yes, yes. It, I use a lot. This is an expen inexpensive craft brush. I have quite a few Simply Simmons and Royal and Lane Nickel. I have some Princeton's. And I have some Zoo Ting <laughs> from Amazon that are just, the price is so cheap, you, you, you have to love them. So they funny. do chip though, the handle. The, the, the paint comes off very fast. Mm -hmm. And I don't stick my brushes in the water, let them sit in the water. It still comes off. Oops. Kind of have like, sometimes you just have the wrong values, and I'll just grab like some white or something. Kind of see if I can blend it out right on the canvas. I was so glad uh, during the duck live last week, Emily, when you said it looks like a statue or something. I don't know what you said. Yeah. But I'm like, that's where, I'm, I'm thinking about critiques. That's where a, crit a critique is helpful. Something that I'm on top of it and I'm not seeing it. Mm-hmm. Of course, that is something, too, that you have to, um, that's part, totally part of art is painting and being creative. And then, like, I'll lean back during the live and and look at her, I'll look at the live stream because that's a great way to step away from it. And then mm -hmm. things will pop into your head. Go grab a cup of coffee, you come back and stuff pops into your head. It's just the weirdest thing. Mm -hmm. And I think that's pretty normal. I, yeah, I think that's probably very normal because like I get the same thing when I, if I'm staring at like, um, I don't know, if I'm doing something more that's long lines of like graphic design and I'm fuddling with a word and I'm like, eventually I keep staring at the word. I'm like, that doesn't even look like a word anymore. Yeah. So then I got to like stop like, and I, and I cannot be trust Once I, once I've been staring at it too long, you better double check my spelling. Cause that is, that's gone out the window, but I feel like you just stare at it too long and it starts to all mesh. I bet your writers do that too. I don't know, but I bet mm -hmm. they do. It's not dark enough value. So this is a little grayer than my sky, but it's what's nice is when you just use a blue and make it work, or the bright aqua green in the blue, and then I pulled it out and grayed it. It, it somehow people know, and it unifies your painting better. Um, you can totally use all your paints and line them up. A lot of artists do that. We've talked about that many times. Just cleaning it up a little bit. 
So all I'm doing is just taking a little bit of paint on my brush and then just kind of... <laughs> I don't like that, it's too dark. Um, oh, I can hear the cicadas mm -hmm. outside. I'm just kind of painting some little shapes so I, I have the structure of the head hanging in there a little bit. I'm going to lose that if I paint that. Actually, I think it goes pretty dark. Wipe my brush off on my paper towel, and then I just grab some. I'm just kind of dabbing, nothing spectacular. I think that helps give it a little shape. Oh gosh, do we have nine minutes in? Yeah, in our normal slot, yeah. Whew. That actually went fast for me. I don't know how it went for you guys. Mm -hmm. I think it went fast. Freckle is taking a bath. Oh, she woke up. You know, if there's something else you want, like the critiques in the group, let, let us know. It doesn't mean, just because I say like no for now doesn't mean it won't happen. Mm -hmm. What did I just agree to? Oh, uh, I'm talking to the chat. Oh, okay. Chat and the in the rep replay people. Um, you know, if replay you're in the peeps. you're in the Facebook group and there's something you would like to see. You know, I I will I don't want to over promise and under deliver. So I will probably say no until I figure out how to do it. I think I just, well, I know I just signed myself up for another job at the, so one of the galleries I, I sell in is a nonprofit cooperative gallery, so it's all the artists work a day. Um, we all decide on stuff. There's 35 mm -hmm. of us. It's a big committee. Um, I think I, I just sent out an email today that probably just added to my workload, <laughs> suggesting we should do some things, which is all right. To kind of take on a couple things at a time. Um, Gravy says, I'm so limited, I don't understand um, abstract as I'm, uh, as an autistic artist. Anyone else? I think abstracts can be hard. Like, I always get lost because this is abstract. I get lost because where I go to is any painting, even hyperrealism, is an abstraction of reality. Does uh, that just make you want to kind of puke right yeah. on the floor? <laughs> I, I get it because with, like, a goose or painting a landscape, there is a, always a road map. Like, oh, sure, you that can discussion. be done at any point that you want. Like, like I said earlier, like, somebody only, like, it feels like they're done at two layers and you feel like you're done at 20 or something like that. Right. But, like, theoretically, once everything is there and painted, it's a piece and it's done possibly um whereas an abstract an abstract piece is just how did like, they, how, how do, did you they know? do it how, how did do they you know do where it? to start and stop should i talk about the one i just did or no sure um i don't know when it posts it's posting in september so i've done one abstract live a little bit where we talked about it some um on this abstract what i did was I clean up my brush. Um, the 25th, so pretty late in September. Okay. There's one coming up I think you might like and it might be helpful. Um, I'm trying to see if I'm going to draw it. So what I did was, <laughs> just so as I'm gesturing, the, the painting is there. So I decided with this one, I, for, I, paint, I decided I was going to have a C shape. So that's my design. Very simple. It's a C shape. And so then when I painted the background, I painted it a light blues and I just followed that C shape and I kept it a little darker during my actual or at my actual shape and then I painted it a little darker on the bottom. So I have this background just painted brush painted C shapes. And then I took my brush, a big brush, and I painted strokes following the C shape. The letter C, mm -hmm. a curve, um, a horseshoe almost. And then I took a smaller brush and different color. And then, oh, so I limited, so I just limited it to my shape. And then I limited it to two colors, phthalo blue, green, no, no, Prussian blue, 
Mm. Or thalo blue green shade, I don't remember. A dark blue and a raw sienna were my two colors. Um, I don't think I used any black and I used white. And so I limited myself to a shape and then I limited myself, limited myself to two colors. And then I painted, you know, sh smaller brush, big brush strokes. And then I painted some smaller ones. And then I added another thing. I added structure gel so I could have depth and texture. And then I took out a palette knife. So then I switched from just brush and I added a palette knife. And then I made, you know, brought up the texture, uh, made some smaller texture. And I just kept building. But the basic design was a letter C sitting like on its back and then limited colors. Mm -hmm. And I played. I'd show it to you, but it's 18 by 24. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't get it. So I don't know if that makes any sense, but so how you do any painting, this painting kind of has, it's not really a true A shape because I have my A's leaning. It's an italic or no, it's a leaning, but there's various designs. And I tend to do quite simple design elements um, to my paintings, but this sort of has an A shape. Mm -hmm. So then it has stability. And then I divide it, like an abstract, you could do that. And you could also divide it on maybe sort of a third. Mm -hmm. So you can use those rules for painting design for abstracts. They totally do that all the time. You'll start to see it if you look at abstracts. Now, if you're Jackson Pollock and you're pouring paint off the roof or whatever, however, splattering it you mm -hmm. know, with brushes, that's a little different. But most abstracts have a design to them and some structure. And if that was way too much or annoying or whatever, <laughs> I hope that helped a little. Mm -hmm. um, and, oh, Emily had mentioned before too is you could take a landscape, like I had a landscape with a bunch of trees, and blur it, and then use that as a reference for an abstract and just True. paint the shapes and the colors. Mm -hmm. Or like a water, like a city, like city scene, and then water, and blur blur it a ton in a program. I would use Photoshop. I don't. There's got to be other programs out there, mm -hmm. and blur it, and then that can get you the structure you need. Limit your colors if you want. That can help you just make it easier. Just like I limit my colors, I'm basically using primaries and then this, you know, fun color of bright aqua green to paint this. And it can just help you all around. Mm -hmm. Was that too soapboxy? No. All right. Hopefully that helps. They all kind of start, they all have the same basic principles. Mm -hmm. yep. So my horizon's on a third. I've basically got an A shape. And then one thing I'm kind of messing with with this one, a lot of times I'll have my flowers. Do I have one? Yep. Hang on, guys. I'm going to grab a painting. I will have my flowers quite often or my, my elements looking into a painting. That one's looking straight up. But this time I'm playing with you a little bit. They're looking out, so it causes more tension. This one's almost looking at you, and then this one's looking out. Hmm. But what's going to help help me is a bright orange beak, a bright orange beak, and a bright orange beak with glasses. And then eyes always help you because people look at eyes. So that'll help keep you up here. And then if I want to, I could reinforce that and have only highlights up around the head and the beak. And that'll help pull, keep you in the painting. And that becomes part of the design. You know, keep my... My highlight, I won't maybe only use white up here and no white down here, that kind of thing. That was probably way too much info. <laughs> I felt like I just, like, that was way too much. You can't necessarily think of them all at once, which is why I, mean, I just say, okay, I've painted my, my, my um, warm highlight colors over here and my cool over here, so I kind of walk my way through a painting. I don't try to think of it all at, all at once. Mm -hmm. You know, come up with a design before I start. I keep saying I'm done, and then I... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to that. I hope there's little nuggets in there that help. There can be a ton to learn. Mm -hmm. I would practice, like, I don't know. I think I would start, with like, painting apples and pears and bananas and... Mm -hmm. And simple portraits. Those are, you know, birds... Bees. I'll start with landscapes. You know, people want to, but I think those can be harder because you need to know. Well, you don't need to. True. But you've got atmospheric perspective. Yeah. It, I don't know. You can, everybody wants to start with landscapes. I just feel like it would be so much easier to fudge or flowers or something. Flowers. Yeah, I mean, you can. You totally can. 
I was just thinking you need to know more design and then you get like, well, my painting just isn't working on a couple of levels. Why? So I just gave a, a critique sort of in general there. <laughs> Cool. Let's see, what was I going to do? I don't remember. Does anybody have any more questions? I'm going to quit here pretty soon. Call it a night. I need to do some bookkeeping. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any new questions. It's the end of the month. And Freckle has joined the party. Yeah. I... Yeah. Well, maybe I'll, instead of painting more, I'll just end there. There will be a full video. Um, gosh, if I'm already scheduled out through the third week of September. It, um, oh, it, sorry. No, no, go ahead. Um, Gravy asks, Annie, were you a photographer before? I'm learning so much about the rules. You not really. I had, I had a, of course, I'm 58. So I had a, oh, I can't remember the name of it. Um, now they're di digital, an SLR camera. I, I wanted to put, say, DSLR, because now they're digital. Um, I was into photography, but only had a few classes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know enough to take my paintings outside to photograph them in the shade. Bonita says, great video, ladies. Thanks so very much. Thank you. Thank you thank for you. coming. I really like, I like the art chatter, too, and if it hurts my brain because I don't know how to answer it. Yeah. Um, you got to think hard. Well, it's good for me because it helps me grow and learn, too. Because mm -hmm. And I muscle. might change my mind, and then we'll, I'll just share it with you guys. I mean... What I love about art is there's some rules to help you, but then people break them. Mm -hmm. you know, that's all, which also makes critiques hard. Yes. Yeah. Anything else? I can't think of anything else. Mm -hmm. You guys are the best. They're, yeah. they're my besties. Thank you for coming tonight. Gravy says it shows. <laughs> oh, that I'm a photographer? Um, that you, the, your experience or whatever. Oh. oh, thank you. I'm glad it shows a little bit. Um, great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.